Hi everyone, Scott Allen Brown here, and it is with great reluctance and profound sadness that I share with you guys the news that one of the most iconic and most legendary broadcasters in the Pittsburgh area, Stan Saverin, has died. Um, Mr. Saverin passed away at the age of 76 uh, on Monday, June 12th. He had been battling lung cancer for, I think, around a good portion of a year. And uh, this uh, not only hits home for me, but it hits home for every uh, Pittsburgh sports fan that either lived in Pittsburgh or lived outside of Pittsburgh. And as you guys know, I live outside of the Pittsburgh area as I am based in the Harrisburg, Lancaster, Lebanon, York, PA market, otherwise known as uh, Central Pennsylvania. But... I know some of you in Pittsburgh may remember him, may remember Stan from his days at uh, WTAE. I think he also worked at uh, KDK back in the seventies. I think it was. Um, I did see some clips of him uh, from his days at WTAE, but um, I mostly remember Stan from for his work with uh, AT and T Sportsnet. Pittsburgh and its uh, previous predecessors, um, especially when he used to do the uh, uh, the popular uh, sports beat program, which, uh, as you guys know, was the uh, longest running uh, sports tel sports show in uh, Pittsburgh television history. I apologize for my speech being a little crappy there, but yeah uh, of course as you know sports beat was uh, a program where a lot of pittsburgh sports fans could call in and and share their thoughts about uh what's been going on in the uh pittsburgh sports scene and um i i gotta tell you uh, like uh many of you uh fellow pittsburgh sports fans i really loved the show i know that's i know that was I guess their unofficial tagline, love the show. But, um, yeah, of course, uh, Stan originally did it with uh, Guy Junker for, for uh, I guess, from its inception up until, I think it was around uh, 2003 when uh, Guy Junker was let go. And then, I guess, for the next, I guess, from 2003 up until uh, 09 when the show was canceled, Stan, Stan of course, did the show himself and um i am happy to tell you that um i i did call into his program once i kind of wish i had a i kind of wish i still had a copy of that unfortunately i do not sorry about that but um yeah i did call into his program once he was a uh, he uh, it was great to talk to him you know he was a very uh nice guy and all that but um Anyway, I can tell you this is undoubtedly, and I mean undoubtedly, a, a huge, tremendous loss. Not just for uh, all of Pittsburgh, but perhaps um, all of Pennsylvania. You know, he fits into like uh, the list of legendary uh, Pittsburgh, or excuse me, legendary Pennsylvania uh, sportscasters. And there's a ton of them out there. There's uh, Harry Callis, the voice of the Phillies. Um, Gary Papa of uh, WPVI-TV uh, Action News in Philadelphia. He, both of them uh, died back in uh, 2009. Um, Greg Mace was another uh, great sportscaster. He, he worked in our region, but he died back in uh, 2019. Um, there are so many others. Uh, Jim Stone, formerly WGAL, Jim Miller of WBRE, um, Jeff Warner, so many others. Uh, the list is very long, to, to tell you the truth, but yes, like I, like I said, Stan fits into the category of greatest, of great, greatest Pennsylvania sportscasters of all time, so... Yeah, this, I can tell you right now, this uh, absolutely hurts. And um, all I can say right now, uh, the only other thing I can say right now is 
that I would appreciate if you guys could keep uh, Stan's uh, family, his friends, and the people who worked with him in uh, your thoughts and prayers. Of course, I'll definitely be doing the same. But yeah, this is undoubtedly a tough, tough loss. So, um, anyway, um, that's all I have to say. And um, I do thank you for watching. In the meantime, Stan, we love you, buddy. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you an awful lot. Rest in peace.